What's good, guys? My friend Akita. Welcome back to Indie Showcase. Indie Showcase, of course, is where we put the emphasis on independent books from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows and everything all around. I haven't said that in a while, but yes, um, today, this children, just child of the 80s gets brought back to my childhood because we're checking out a book from Dynamite Comics under the clan Shalvi and Drew Moss. Thundercats are on the loose. Thundercats are on the loose. Yeah. Great song. Hear the magic, feel the... Sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Thundercats number one. Picked this up this week. And um, this is the... Uh, I picked up the uh, Sona cover. I like the cover. There were some other covers I liked, but this one caught my attention. Um, so what is... How is this? It's good. Basically, what it is, is it's a retelling of the animated series, in a sense. Um, it's it's telling the story of what happened to the Thundarians. They talk about the Eye of Thundera. They talk about leaving Thundera and getting attacked by the mutants, the Plundarians. Um, they get, they, Lionel tells the story of how, yes, Jaga died. Jaga... Jaga basically, he piloted our ship to third earth, but in the process, he could he didn't get in his stasis pod and it killed him. He died of old age, which he did. If you ever watched the original series, he didn't just die of old, he turned to dust. That's, that's just how it was. And of course, he talks about how his, his stasis pod got damaged and, and, and basically he grew up but still kind of had the mind of a child, as he talks about. He's still a cub, as he said. And we see him trying to live up to being the Lord of the Thundercats and being trained by Panthro and things like that. It was very, it was very Obi Wan and uh, Luke Skywalker esque. I was loving that. I was like, yeah, okay, I see where you're going with that. We're seeing them scout the terrain of Third Earth, and you know, we got Tigra. Uh, looking and kind of hunting for food and then Chitara comes in and you know says that Tigra like you know your your grace and agility is is your your stealth and agility is great Tigra but it doesn't beat pure speed and she you know she cuz and she says I'll get it and he's like yeah well okay but I'm just hungry <laughs> now the only thing about I, I wonder why Tigra is drawn this way look at Tigra look at him right there Look at him right there. He's got like a, a old school Wellington beard. And I'm like, can you can you see that? It's so funny, but it's like, wait, what? He looks so weird. At I'm like, he he looks weird. He, he looks that that needs to go. Like, I don't know why they drew him like that, but it's so funny. Um and then of course we see um we see Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat. I mean, they're they're drawn a little differently too. I mean, look look at Wiley. I think it's Wiley Cat. Uh, no, Wiley Kit. She she looks a lot different than she her original look. They I don't think they were twins. I think they were, but they she looks way different. Um, and of course we get the the mutants. They have found found them, and of course we get the classic thunder thunder. Thunder! Thunder catch! Oh! And then, of course, after that, we get a glimpse of Mamra, ever living source of evil. I know my shit, man. Don't, 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 don't come at me. I know my shit. One of the greatest cartoons ever. Still to this day. Fuck them. Fuck that. Fuck that reboot and fuck that bullshit that came out. This. The original is still the best Thundercats. Don't come at come at I dare somebody to come at me. I dare somebody. Come on. Bring it. I dare you. And so basically Mumra is awoken because he can sense the eye of Thundera, the power. 
and of course there's a fight between uh, Sly, Sly and uh, Lionel, and of course the rest of the mutants and Panthro and the rest of them come to help. And then something really interesting happens that I ain't feeling, and I kind of question that. And what is that? Slide breaking the Sword of Omens. Really? Mr. Shalvey, really? We, 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 Slide, of all people, Slide breaks the Sword of Omens with a little axe? What are we doing here with that? I'm still on board, but what are we doing with that? That's, are you, have you not watched the series? You know damn well that sword could take a lot. The only person that was able to break that sword was Tug Mug. I think it was yeah, Tug, one of the lunatics. He literally broke it. Mind you, you saw the Sword of Omens fighting back not to break it. That's how much I and that's how I know that sword. But here we go. We got we got this 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 is just an axe. An axe that an axe that Slythe is using, and he breaks the Sword of Omens. But then at the end, we see Mumra saying, I can't feel the Sword's power. What did you do? What did you do, Jaga? So he knows Jaga. What the hell? Okay, that caught me off guard. But when when I saw that, that first showing Slythe of all people, Breaking the sword of moments, I'm like, huh? What? what? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. There's got to be something. There's got to be something more to this. And then till I turn the next page, and I'm like, okay, we'll see where. It so I'm looking forward to issue number two right away. Y'all got me hooked. I'm like a big wop. I'm like a a, a a grouper. Just okay. Just. Show me the lore with the food. I'm coming at you. You you got me hooked. The question is, are you going to keep me hooked? That's the question, Mr. Shelby. Let's see what you got. The artwork was fine. Like I said, Mr. Moss's artwork is good. It's just it's just the design for some of the Thundercats that's throwing me off a little bit. Because for me, don't change something that doesn't need to be changed. And to me, the Thundercats some of their looks should not be changed. Like I said, it makes him, uh, Tiger having that Wellington beard makes him look old, and then he should be. Um, and no snarf, that's the one thing. If somebody's having Chris is snarfing it, nope. So it makes me wonder where snarf is gonna come in. He's on the cover, here he is right here, he's on the cover. But no snarf or snarf, he's not there. We probably, if, if they're making it seem like Schnarf is a third earth animal, uh, okay. But there was something else that was brought up, and I may, I'll i talk about this later too in a, its own video, but Dynamite in May. Look who Dynamite is bringing. The ghost. Space ghost. Yeah. Space ghost. Dynamite has space ghost now. I'm going to talk about that later in a, in a, a solo video, but... As of right now, was this good for nostalgia's purposes? Yes, it's everything you want. If you were if you were a child of the 80s and you grew up watching the original series that came out in 1985, like me, like yours truly, I was three years old when that show first came out. Three, and I was loving it as a three-year-old. I would go around, run around the house when my grandfather would watch me and just scream Thundercats Ho. If it wasn't Thundercats, it was He-Man saying I got the power. Those were my childhood memories growing up with cartoons of the 80s. Everything about it. That is why to this day, I do not if you disrespect the cartoons of my era, I come at you with a vengeance because we're the golden era of cartoons. We had the best openings, we had the best cartoons, and yes, 90s kids, y'all continued where we started. 
That's why you're considered the Silver Age. And then from there, that's where everything started going down. There's no car cartoons now. Don't really have intros anymore. Thundercats had one of the best fucking intros in in cartoon history. Nobody can tell me any differently. Till this day, I, I'll bang out. I'll go on YouTube or watch from my Thundercats collection and just bang out to that theme. Just rewind it back and like, I'm just banging to this theme. Nope, that guitar solo in that theme is just fucking badass. Hopefully we'll see, it'd be great if maybe we'll have the Silverhawks guest star or the Tiger Sharks. They make, I don't know, just saying. Hopefully we get uh, characters like Safari Joe and Mongor and um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Mandora and all these great characters that was in that series. I hope they do. I hope they, it's not just centered around Mumra. I love Mumra. He, he lives up to his name, ever living source of evil. Wherever evil lies, Mumra lives. <laughs> I can't do it up. <coughs> My voice out. Mumra lives. Mumra. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. And then, you know, his laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It was, it was good. It's good shit. Um, so, but this is definitely nostalgia. It, 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 it hits you in the, but that ending is really what kind of like, like, huh? Like what? So if you are a Thundercats fan, and if you are a child of the 80s that grew up with this, I say pick it up. If you are curious and you've never watched Thundercats, you know ask better pick it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that. It's good to see. But this was fun. I just question the art direction for some of the Thundercats. That's that's all I question. Uh, Drew Drew Moss, your artwork is good. It's just I question some of them. Like like I said, Wiley Kit is one. I and it, I, her hair sticks up just as much as Wiley Cat's. Her hair looks more like Vegeta than anything. And um, Tigra is the one. But I tell you one thing I also did when I was reading this, all I heard up here was the original voice actors. That says a lot. Anyway, guys, you guys take care. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you read Thundercats number one, please tell me in the comment section below what did you think about it. And with that being said, my fellow geeks, my fellow comic geeks, I'm out.